there a limit to how high we can build? Instantly we see that, yes, there should be, as reaching outside the Earth's atmosphere would make it almost impossible for construction and use of space. But why? If we saw a drawing of a building that stretches above the tomosphere, our mind would instantly tell us that the idea is absurd, that we'd never successfully construct it. And our mind is almost right. First of all, the Coriolis effect and the speed of each individual rotation of the Earth means that the higher you go, the more velocity the building has to deal with. For example, ground level, you're probably moving about 345 meters per second, or uh, kilometers per second, and the higher you go, you can even reach into the thousands, moving so fast that the building could even be ripped apart, forming rings inside our rope limit. For example, if you swing a rope, the piece of rope near your hand is going to be moving at a much lower velocity than if you kept on going outwards until the very end of the rope is going exponentially faster than the rope beside your hand. So, if this applies to buildings in the same way, the velocity would result in the destruction and collapse and possibly rings around your earth. Also, this means that one side has to be heavier. One side has to accentuate more as the velocity means that it's leaning back on one side and if both sides were symmetrical in a thin fashion, it results in the snapping of the building, like many telephone wires that stretch meters and miles above. This means that you would have to have a very, very big base and a very slim top. But that would be very difficult as the mass reinforcing on the building would make it much harder, as this creates a very large potential mass. When u equals g multiplied by mm over d squared, you're creating a wider base to get a higher overall weight of your building that will eventually break under the, the assumption that gravity still applies to the building and you haven't gotten over any centrifugal forces. But more on that in a second. Also, another major problem is the wind. What feels like a gentle breeze at ground level can be a howling gale of up to 500 meters above. So, if you're trying to create a wider base to get your overall building higher, the gravity and weight and speed and the revolutions of the Earth would rip the building apart before you even got above a couple hundred meters, depending how sound the structure is. Also, if you actually manage to construct a building with such height that most others are destroyed from their own creation and rooms and floors will be unusable, as it would change the weight and safety precautions. So the building is technically no longer a building, as it's now a tower. As for a building to be a building, 50% of the building needs to be habitable. So this idea of getting multiple thousand meter buildings is completely absurd when thinking of normal means of concrete slabs and wires that are now unusable as above 600 meters, wires wouldn't have, they would just be simply too heavy to winch. There's one possible solution to the problem. Theoretically, it would be possible to attach a cable into space in a manner where the center of mass of the system is above the geostationary level. This means that you'd be able to find an object strong enough to support a centrifugal force upward and outward forcing it into a geostationary orbit from anywhere above 3,500 meters above sea level. But where we are at now and present, there are no materials at all that could be able to hold their own weight up to 3,500 meters. So if we are just to think of using stone and concrete slabs of a relative density around 2,400 kilograms per meter cubed, you could only really support a very well model building if we were to add in the gravity, the air pressure, the wind pressure, and the velocity from about 1.2 kilometers to 1.5 kilometers. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.